Hi, I'm Professor Yongjin Kim at Sogang University. In this session, we will discuss the on-demand work, the future. We will discuss on-demand work as the future work, which is the other side of coin of on-demand service. As the digital transformation moves forward, our economy transforms itself into service-based economy, where customers just request for the solutions and companies need to solve custom problems through the solutions. On-demand service refers to the activities to understand custom problem and come up with the solutions for the problems and deliver the service to the customers. On-demand work, as the future work, means how to implement the solutions or how to make the solutions and how to deliver the solutions to the customers. On-demand work, as the future work, may have two types, production side work and consumption side work. The production side work is to produce product or services in an on-demand manner when customers request. For example, Siemens produces product or machines as customers design and order. Another example is a fashion store or a factory. Customers visit a fashion store or factory and design clothes and ask they need the clothes tomorrow. Then the store patterns it through the digital design, print the patterns using digital printer, cuts the printed textile using digital cutter, then seems to make the cloth. All the production processes are connected organically to meet customer request. The production side work can be successfully done when every process from digital design, production, and delivery is standardized, modularized, and digitalized. Consumption side work is to directly help customers solve their problems to achieve value. This part is a little bit more complex than production side work because one more party, the on-demand workers involved in the process and the service need to be directly delivered. When a customer requests a service, let's say food delivery, the company or platform takes the order from the customer and distributes it to an on-demand worker who is closest in terms of uh, location and time and feeds to the customer request. Then the on-demand worker comes to the customer to take care of the customer request. The on-demand worker in the case of food delivery are two. One is restaurant, which produces the food, and the delivery person who delivers it to the customer's premise. The most known example is the Uber service. Customers send requests to Uber, which in turn distribute the call to the Uber driver who are near to the customer and willing to take the call. When the call is taken by Uber driver, the driver comes to the customer's location to pick her up to drive to the destination. The tax fare is paid to Uber and Uber pays agreed amount of money back to the driver later on. A gig economy is part of on-demand economy in terms of providing labor and expertise to solve customer problems. A gig economy can be defined as a market system where temporary jobs are common and companies hire independent workers for short-term commitment. McKinsey and Company defines the gig economy as the economy in which contingent work is traded through online market. In the gig economy, people with specific expertise gather together to solve specific problems. Online platforms play a key role in matching demand and supply, clearing the transaction payment, and monitoring the market to make it efficient. The ratio of gig economy in the global labor market is expected to be around 30%. The gig economy is expected to contribute to the global economy by adding 2% more 
GDP and providing jobs to 540 million people. In general, gig workers include jobs like independent contractors, online platform workers, contract form workers, on-call workers, and temporary workers. Gig workers may have formal agreement with companies that want to provide on-demand service to their company's customers. Gig workers are regarded to have high levels of flexibility, autonomy, task variety, and complexity. They also choose projects which fit their skills and expertise. Companies can access expertise without incurring huge fixed costs in a specific time period, which allows them to reduce labor cost and increase efficiency. However, the gig economy has also some problems from worker side. Firstly, the gig workers generally provide few employer provide benefits and workplace protections. Secondly, Due to the complexity of the jobs, the legal definitions of the terms employee and employer are defined in the law, like the Wagner Act of 1935 and the Fair Labor Standard Act of 1938 in the U.S. get blurred. This problem, in turn, can result in lack of control, which lead to low pay, social isolation, working on social and irregular hours, overwork, sleep deprivation, and exhaustion. There are platforms which provide job search services such as CareBuilder, Monster, and Indeed. Key activities on the platforms are two types. One, is that companies which want to hire people post information about the jobs and conditions. The other is that the individuals who seek for work look up the posted information and apply. Each platform has its own characteristics. CareBuilder, which focuses on global service, operates in more than 60 countries. Monster has more than 50,000 client companies and indeed, provide a search engine for job seekers. Compared to traditional job posting site, which provide a simple posting service, online freelancer platforms play a little bit more active roles, such as matching, checking quality of freelancers, and providing feedback about the freelancers and hiring companies. On these platforms, Freelancers post their resume and portfolio, and companies post jobs and projects uh, for which they hire freelancers. There are, two, there are many different types of freelancers platform, each of which pursues a specific niche market. Freelancer is specialized in uh, matching short-term project and freelancers. Fiber focuses on matching artwork and creative jobs. Dribble is specialized in freelancer recruiting based on individual portfolio. 99design has a very unique system which provides reverse auction to company postings. Companies post their ideas about a design. 99design asks designers to submit their design from which the company chooses. Clarity focuses on introducing management-level experts um, to companies. ExpertPy connect companies with experts in big data area. And WellPath focuses on matching market analysts and companies. In Korea, there are similar kind of platforms. The biggest is part-time job matching companies. Knowledge networks are basically social network services but they are focusing on the network of business experts. It is very easy to identify what is the expertise, skills, and knowledge of the target person. Because these platforms have very detailed record about an individual registered with them. The recommendations from these platforms are quite accurate and useful due to rich data they accumulate. 
LinkedIn is a business center social network service which covers mostly the U.S. and English-speaking countries. Diadeo is a French Web 2.0 professional social network whose members include business owners, entrepreneurs, and managers. And Sing is a Hamburg-based career-oriented social networking site in Germany. The similar service in Korea is LinkedIn. Crowdsourcing platforms are targeting at labor-intensive tasks which are not easy to automate or need to have human decision-making and ask crowd to perform the task. There are three well-known crowdsourcing platforms, Mechanical Turk, Crowdflower, and Cloud Factory. Amazon Mechanical Turk is a crowdsourcing marketplace that makes it easier for individuals and businesses to outsource their processes and jobs to a distributed workforce that can perform these tasks virtually. Crowdflower, which is now figure eight, is a human in the loop machine learning platform. That is, the company creates a high-quality training data needed by models to work in the real world. Finally, Cloud Factory is a company which combines people and technology to provide workforce solutions for machine learning and business process optimization. On-demand work has both positive and negative aspects. On-demand work allows companies to provide services or solve custom problems on time by using skills and expertise possessed by retired specialists, experts in specific area, young people, and even housewives. Service users can read, get rid of the inconvenience caused by owning something and save cost because they use the service only when they need it. Service providers can utilize their resources to the maximum to save production and operation cost, as well as create new jobs to reduce unemployment. However, just like in the gig economy, on-demand service when the regulations are not firmly established may result in um, weak job security, inequality in jobs, and thus social instability. Accordingly, if we have more companies which provide on-demand service with on-demand work, we have to set up proper regulations and systems in place to compensate for the weakness.